1977, Jack Morris found a new home in Detroit and was towing the Major League mound for the first time. There was only one problem. His debut at Tiger Stadium was a situation of star substitution. Mark Fedrich was the biggest name in baseball during that time. Pitching sensation of the American League is with us tonight. Mark, I've never seen anything like this in my life tonight, and I know it's a very emotional moment for you. Hell yeah. I mean, 48,000 people coming out to see Detroit pitch. I said we couldn't have gave him a better show, you know? Nobody was more loved in Detroit than the bird. And uh, when he couldn't make his start, our pitching coach, Fred Gladding, came running up to the locker, my locker, and said, hey, get your spikes on your pitch. And I started laughing because I knew there's 40,000 people there. They're all there to see Bird, not me. And he says, you can't pitch. You're pitching. Get going right now. I have reoccurring nightmares about not being ready in time to this day. As I was walking towards the mound, the PA announcer made that announcement that, ladies and gentlemen, Mark Fidrich will not be pitching. Today's starting pitcher is Jack Morris. And the whole place got up and booed. And I knew they weren't booing me per se, but it, it still didn't feel well. And uh, the good news is uh, I think I won that game and got deep into the game. And those boos turned into cheers when I came off the mound. So that just shows what baseball fans really want. They want to see a good game. Detroit fans saw many more good games from Morris especially during the 1984 season, when a team of youngsters won 17 consecutive games on the road. We didn't have a lot of household names at that time. You know, we were all kids. Lance Parrish, Lou Whitaker, Alan Trammell, myself, Dan Petrie. Uh, we had a lot of young guys that came up through the minor leagues together, but hadn't established ourselves as any stars in the big leagues. But one thing I know is uh, I've never been with a group of guys that when the first pitch started, we were ready to, to do our part. But when we won our 17th in a row on the road, a bunch of writers that were just all swarming, all of us, and saying, this is remarkable. And we looked at each other like, we're just playing ball. You know, this is not a big deal. But it was a big deal. We just weren't aware of it. Another big deal for Jack that season came on April 7th at Comiskey Park in front of a few vocal fans. Yeah, especially one particular drunk fan uh, having a few pops over the dugout. He, he was piling up the big uh, 16, 18 ounces and about the fourth inning he started getting real vocal and by the sixth inning he started giving me the heckle. I looked up and I saw all these zeros on the scoreboard and I didn't even know at that point that I had a no hitter going and I couldn't remember any time in my career where I was that deep in the game where I had a no hitter so it was like wow this is pretty cool. I didn't know it. And when I came off the mound in the seventh inning, the guy was just getting really belligerent. And I told him, I said, quit drinking. You're going to see something great here today, and you got to stick around for it. He, he didn't make it. He had one more, and they kicked him out. So he didn't even get to see the end of it. Got him swinging, and he has his no-hitter. I remember we came up in the shadows of the 68 Tigers. They were the last team to win a world championship. The Drake, the new world champion. Look at Fran picking up Lulich. And in those years, it really brought a city together because of the real tough times that the city of Detroit was going through in the late 60s. We heard so much about how a baseball team could influence a community. You win and it's never forgotten. You know, you're never, ever brushed aside. You win and it's a part of the culture of the community and it's something special. I think it's probably the most cherished part of my whole baseball career is being a part of those championship teams because of what it means to me even at this point in my life. Here comes Herndon, he's there, he's got it, the Tigers are the champions of 1984.